Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're doing a segment on how to learn how to TIG weld without a welding machine. And how do you get started with no dollars? Well, I've got Seth Delmore with me, and he's a student, and he's wanting to learn how to TIG weld. And so how can he get started, and how can high school students and any student, uh, even in the, the, the adult world, uh, wants to get started TIG welding? We're going to show you how to do that. You're going to be a step ahead, so when you do either go to school or you buy your own equipment, I, I just, first of all, I want to identify that it costs quite a bit. So we don't have any money yet. How do we get started? Well, what I'm going to show you is a technique that I learned how to TIG weld, and I tell you, it works great. All you have to do is take a piece of paper. We're going to get started learning how to TIG weld with a piece of paper. So I'm going to have you do something for me. This is just kind of a drill. And if you'll note, we've got lines on this. I want, first of all, you out there in the audience to know that you can use a pen or a pencil or anything else. I happen to be left-handed, so that's going to be my TIG torch hand. Take a look at this. This is how I hold a TIG torch. Hold it like a pencil. Okay? TIG torch, pencil, got a fine point on it. So what I want you to do is actually touch the paper, touch the paper with this, and follow a line. And do it very, very slowly. And so, you know, I'm covering about probably 10 inches a minute, but just very, very, very slowly. And try to stay right on that line. I'm going to go ahead and, I got the blue one here, it shows up a little better. So just follow that without leaving the line, okay? So go ahead and try that. And if you're right hand, to start the right and go left. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, that's step one. Now, step two is, did you notice how your angle was? Okay, I want you to change your angle. Now, this is the way we do it in TIG welding. In TIG welding, and I'm going left to right just because I'm left-handed, is we go straight up and down because we want the gas to flow perfectly. So we follow this straight up and down, and eventually you're going to put a slight angle in it. But just to learn, go straight up and down. So, so try that. Okay, and that looked good. Yeah, your angle looked good. And that's the neat thing about TIG welding is that, you know, wherever you can, you know, draw, you can TIG weld. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to add something different. And something different is I'm going to put a penny there. And I'm going to give you that penny when the class is over, okay? So I want you to keep it with you. Okay, that distance is the distance I want you to follow your line do not hit the line, do not hit the paper, but that's the distance that I want you to be, and you're gonna have just a little gap, so you're gonna follow that all the way through, just like that. That makes sense to you? Start. That height right there, that's the perfect height setting for you, so it's like a gauge. There you go, there you go. And you'll notice yourself floating up and down a little bit, Okay, okay, there you go. Great, that's the next technique. Okay, so you just practice doing that over and over and over again, and that's part of what we do with TIG welding. We never actually put the tungsten in the metal or the puddle. So that's all I do is I just follow that line with that gap. So see the similarities? You can do that at home. You can put as much practice as you want into it. Now here's the, uh, here's the second component. You're eventually going to have to add filler material. Okay, so adding filler material, there's a couple of techniques. And again, hold your, hold your pencil like your TIG torch. Okay, so you're going to take that home with you. 
and you're going to sit in front of uh, your favorite movie, and uh, you're you're going to you're going to watch a three-hour movie, practicing and becoming a better TIG welder. Do you know that? <laughs> okay, so just just remember that's that's always your technique. So you got your TIG torch. Now you've got to learn how to add this filler, and you you go well. There's probably several ways of doing that. Well, one of them is if you hold it this far back. Look what happens. Yeah, so I'm trying to add filler to that line. Yeah, it's pretty hard to do, right? Now, if I move my hand closer, and I'm only about six inches away, then I've got control. Now, this, this angle, it's not important right now because I want you to be able to add filler material. So here's my torch, and as soon as I can see a, a puddle, my, my puddle is going to be about this big, then I'm going to add at the base of the puddle. So the key is to learn how to ratchet this filler because you're going to dab, 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 dab. And as you dab, you're going to learn how to ratchet. And that's just one of many techniques, but you're going to add the filler material. Now, what will happen is you'll learn to TIG weld and you'll get pretty good pretty quick. And then you're going to, you're going to bottom out. You're not going to get any better until you learn how to do this. Okay? So I keep these three fingers, and this one is always indexing. So just practice it over and over and over. You know, you're, you're getting the hang of it. And pretty soon you'll be able to add the entire length of the rod. Now, if you happen to be watching a movie and it's three hours and you have to go to the bathroom and you set your rod down, it's okay. When you come back, you got to decide which hand you were using because if not, you become ambidextrous. Yeah, so you can add a rod with either hand. Not a problem at all. Okay, so that's what we've done. We, we've showed a, a technique of how you can learn to weld. Uh, it, it doesn't cost you a lot to get started, practically nothing. And uh, this is my Mr. Miyagi technique. So in, in normal TIG welding, this is what will happen. You'll have a, a, a rod there, and we'll get into the foot controls and the settings of the machine when you get a machine. Okay, so we'll, we're going to work on that. So here you are. Here's the similarity. You're holding the pencil or pen, like a pencil or a pen, and you create a puddle. When you get that puddle, you're going to be dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. And then you're going to add the technique of being able to go a long ways without stopping. Okay, so this is just a, a beginning series of how to TIG weld. Now right now we're doing, it, we're doing it on the cheap. It's easy to learn, easy to get started, get those techniques down, and then we'll move on to a machine next. How, how's that sound? Sounds great. All right, this is a, a series of many of them. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.